today we're going to focus in on making a dish called rosti potatoes. Now, rosti potatoes is a little bit different than your typical hash brown. Hash browns are usually more chopped, shredded, and has a binder in it, whereas rosti potatoes don't have a binder, and it's using the natural starches of the potato to hold together in your pan, but we want it to be nice and light and fluffy, so not dense like a normal hash brown. So, first thing we're gonna do, and I'm not gonna demo this because you guys know how to boil potatoes. You're gonna take a potato and you're going to clean it off and take the skin off and remove any of the dark pieces. And you're going to put it in a pot of boiling salted water and you're gonna cook that potato until it's three quarters of the way cooked. You still want it to be a little bit undercooked, which is really, really important because that gives the integ integral structure to your Rossi potato. Now, this potato has been already cooked. Once it's cooked, you're gonna to wanna to pull it out and shock it in ice water and make sure that you chill it all the way down. You wanna make sure it's chilled completely. Now, once you have it chilled, now we're gonna take it to the stage where we're gonna shred it on a shredder. But first, I wanna talk about just simple ingredients that we need for this dish is just a little bit of clarified butter, or you can use oil. I like to use clarified butter, it's got more flavor. And then I like to use a little bit of chopped parsley in my Rossi potatoes. Um, you don't have to, I like to bring a little bit of green to it. Some chefs do, some chefs don't, so I will be. That'll be optional for you. Um, and it's really, really important to make sure again that you cook your potato three quarters of the way, shock it in ice water, and also um, make sure it's cool all the way before and pat it dry before you shred. So basically it's real simple. I've already gotten through that stage. This is cold all the way through. I'm gonna move this off to the side. I'm just gonna take a regular shredder and I'm just gonna angle it at a 45 degree angle so I can get some longer strands. And I'm gonna push my potato down and I'm gonna shred on my grater. And you can see that I'm shredding at a 45 so you get those nice longer strands. And that's important to get the longer strands because you want it to be nice, light, and fluffy when we cook it in the pan. So once you get through and you shred the entire potato, your strands will look something like this. Now I'm gonna push this and move it off to the side because I've already shredded some ahead of time. And I just want to show you here, look at how nice and long the strands are and look at how nice and fluffy this is. It's not compact. It's been cooked three quarters of the way, still undercooked just a little bit, but it's nice, nice and light and fluffy and it's cold. So really important. Now at this stage, I'm gonna to wanna to season. So I'm gonna take a little bit of salt and I'm gonna season my potatoes with salt. Remember, season your potatoes good with salt because they do soak up some of that uh, seasoning. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of black pepper. I like to use black pepper in my Rossi potatoes. You can use white pepper, your choice. So once I have my seasoning in here, I'm gonna to wanna to take both of my hands and I, I wanna lightly, I wanna lightly pull up the potatoes and keep it nice, light and fluffy and make sure that I'm getting that seasoning incorporated all the way through the potatoes without damaging those longer strands. Really, really important to get a nice pull on it so you don't damage those strands when you season. All right, perfect. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these gloves off. I got my potatoes seasoned really, really nice. And now we're gonna go into a hot pan. So really important is to make sure that your pan is on a medium high to high heat. And we have clarified butter or oil. If you use regular butter, your butter will burn. So it's important to be using clarified butter. So I'm gonna check my pan here. I'm gonna go ahead and season my pan. I'm gonna put a couple pieces of my clarified butter in here. And my pan is quite hot. So I'm gonna turn my heat down a little bit. I'm gonna take my pan off to the side. I'm just gonna let my clarified butter melt down just a little bit. Make sure I get a nice coating all the way around. And I'm gonna let my pan cool down just a little bit. It is on the hot side. The clarified butter's there. Now I'm going to take my mixture. Now when I drop my mixture down in this pan, before I drop my mixture in, I wanna make sure that I shake my pan back and forth to make sure that I have enough clarified butter or oil um, in the bottom of the pan. And then I'm going to take, and I'm going to grab about maybe three and a half to four ounces, and I'm going to lightly drop it right down in the pan. Let me shake this one more time. And I'm gonna drop it, lightly drop it right down in the pan. And I wanna keep it nice and loose. Nice and loose in the pan. 
And I don't want to press it too hard. I want to keep it nice and loose in the pan. Now remember, these potatoes have their own starch already in there that's going to help keep them together. So I'm going to drop another one right here. I'm going to keep it nice and loose. And I'm not going to mess with the pan that much. I'm going to let them sit there and cook. I'm going to fill in this little corner. I'm trying to make little round spots here. I'm going to put this off to the side. All right, great. Now we want to make sure that our heat is turned down a little bit. Then I can move some of this extra clarified butter around in the pan while it sits. I don't want to move it around too much right now because if I do, they're going to fall apart. But what I can do is I can just make sure that I have them shaped a little bit nicer off to the side here and make sure they're shaped a little bit nicer and kind of together in little circles. So now I'm gonna turn my heat up just a little bit. And again, they're starting to get crispy on the side. I'm gonna turn it down. I don't want them to cook too much. And if it looks like you don't have enough oil in the pan or clarified butter, you can add more clarified, but I'm just gonna take a little bit of oil and I'm gonna drizzle just a little bit of oil around the outsides just to make sure that I have enough. Now that they've been sitting here for a little while, I can come in with a really thin spatula. I like to use a fish spatula for this because it's easy for me to get up underneath the potatoes. And you want them just to cook and stay there. I'm gonna press them down just a little bit so they can have something to grab onto, but they're still kind of fluffy. And we're just gonna let them sit and cook. Starting to get some nice caramelization here. Now, right before I turn these guys, and they are cooked three quarters of the way, I'm gonna add just a little bit more clarified butter because the potatoes do soak up some of that. So I'm gonna come in here and I'm just gonna break off a couple little pieces and add some clarified butter. Into the pan like so, just to make sure that I have enough. One more little piece over here, perfect. And I'm gonna swirl this around and make sure that I got it around before I flip. Now I got some really nice caramelization here. They've been cooking for about maybe three and a half minutes. I wanna make sure that I give the chance to starch to kind of solidify and cook before we flip. They are gonna be a little loose, so you have to be a little careful when you come up underneath them. And you want to try to release them from the bottom of the pan like so. And you can give a little shake and you can see that one Rossi potato is released really nice. I'm going to turn my heat down. We don't want them to burn on the bottom side. But I am getting a nice golden brown. Released it just enough so when I shake my pan, they get nice and loose in the pan. Now this is looking really good. At this stage, I'm going to go ahead and flip. Now that they're loose, I'm going to come up underneath in one, on one swoop. And I'm gonna lightly flip over to the other side. Now you can see here, I got this beautiful golden brown and they're really nice and loose and airy. And there's actually holes through the Rossi potato. You want them to be nice and loose and airy is one of the goals. And to make sure that the natural starches is what's holding that Rossi potato together. So now once you flip them, you don't wanna mess with them. You can always come back again. I like to add just a little bit more oil around the outside. That way, when I give them a shake, it'll help loosen them up. But I don't want to oversaturate them in oil. Just enough to let them cook and get golden brown. Now that they've been sitting for a couple of minutes, I'm gonna come back underneath again. I can give my pan a little bit of a shake or I can bring my spatula up underneath it and make sure that they kind of shake and move a little bit. That guy's looking good. Give him just a tiny bit of a press. And then this guy here, same thing. I'm gonna come up underneath really carefully. Make sure that he's loose. And I'm gonna give a little shake to make sure that they're loose but they're still holding together. So I'm gonna let them sit and cook probably for another 
two to three minutes. I'm going to watch my heat control and control it so that the potatoes don't burn. I get a nice golden brown, so I'm on a medium right now. But I do want to get a little bit of crispiness on the bottom side as well. Now we're at the stage here where they've been sitting and cooking long enough. I'm gonna go ahead and turn my heat off. I have a really nice hot pan. They're getting caramelized on the bottom. Now this is the trick when you plate these up. You don't wanna necessarily dabble them on paper towel because they're so loose and fluffy that they're gonna fall apart. You really have to be careful and slowly add your fat to this while it cooks, while you flip, so you don't oversaturate them. If you oversaturate them and place them on a plate, then there's gonna to be too much fat on your plate and that's gonna be undesirable to your customer. So here we go, so now I have my raw sweet potatoes. So let's plate these guys up, nice and beautiful. They're very loose, they're movable in the pan, so they're holding together by the natural starch. I'm gonna come up underneath one and place one right there. Look at how beautiful that is, nice and light and airy. I'm gonna take my second Rosti and place it right on top like so, and then I'm gonna put a glove on, and I'm gonna garnish with a little bit of chopped parsley. And there you have it. Nice, beautiful, airy, fluffy, rosty potatoes that are held together by their own natural starch.